Hey there guys, and welcome to the final episode of Starhawk. Yes, it's coming to an end already. Quite sad. So in the last episode, Logan showed up in his big-ass battleship and I blew all the turrets off of it, so it's now essentially a big-ass sitting duck. Can't destroy it yet, however, because we still have to take out some sort of shield generator, which we have to get through first by cutting through the side panels using a whole crap ton of beam turrets. So we just set up a couple of those bastards and watch them go. Hurry up! Before he buries you. We're doing something right. Scabs heading your way. Kinda wonder, is his battleship immobile or something? Why is it just sitting there? It'd be a lot harder for me to cut through the panels with the beam turrets if that thing would actually move. So yeah, I'm guessing it can't. Anyway, a bunch of scabs showing up with jetpacks and apparently rocket launchers, because how else are they gonna destroy the turrets without rocket launchers? Damn straight, Emmett. Oh jeez, lots of guys dropping in. Oh well, that's what I have the stomp for. Because I can only shoot one at a time. Or, well, maybe two if they're close together, but the stomp... Oh shit, more hawks. Uh, oh, okay, I guess the enemy hawks are pretty weak. Eh, works for me. Stop shooting the turrets, I need those. Okay, sweet, things open. Alright, go fetch a torpedo from Cutter's ship and blow that thing up. Oh, look out, coming through. Crap, I'm sparking. Nap some health, problem solved. Now grab the torpedo. Alright, got that, go th straight through the hangar. Though I am now on the wrong side of the battleship, and we have to line it up properly. So, let's go all the way around. No, not quite the right angle yet. Alright, nap some bombs, not sure why, but... Never hurt to have more weapons. Alright, let's see if I can get it in. That's what she said. Alright. Awesome, I got it. Alright, Cutter, what's next? It's not blowing up. Take every bullet and rain it down on that half-breed. Scabhawks incoming! Get rid of them! Oh sure, now we start sending those things out. Would have been a lot more helpful if we just sent those after the beam turrets to begin with. But... What do I care? Dogfighting! Let's do this! Ah, uh, the dogfighting is still my favorite part of the, about the game. Though the, sh <coughs> the shooting is pretty damn solid as well. Just a game that does many things and does all of them right. Oh crap. Let's see, we have about... Five of them on the radar. Okay, I can deal with that, especially if they keep lining themselves up nicely like that. Ooh, so many missiles. Love it. Alright, oh crap, they- oh, that's one. They are going for Cutter's ship, apparently, um... Filthy scabs! They took out one of my sensor arms! The one I'm still making bloody payments on! You gotta be kidding me, Cutter, it's not really all you're worried about now. But yeah, uh, why doesn't Cutter's ship have any weapons? That'd be pretty helpful in taking care of these things. I mean, look at- it's a pretty big ship, why does it not have at least some sort of laser cannons or something? I mean, it's just completely unarmed, that's it. Come on! It appears it struck out my upper radar line. Not good. Not good. Hang in there, I'm clearing them out. Hell, the thing could at least have some sort of improvised weapons. It could, I don't know, try launching buildings at him. Not sure how effective that'd be, but it'd at least be better than nothing. Uh, health, right here, bingo. Alright, ooh, air mines, those might come in handy. Of course, maybe not so much in a big open map like this. They seem like they could be rather easily avoided. But I have no more missiles, so I have to use something. Damn it. Uh, missiles, I need more. Cluster bomb. Uh, yeah, those are not going to do me any good in a dogfight. Maybe if I'm really lucky, but they're not even homing or anything. Not going to try. I'd have to be, like, right behind the things as well. Oh, crap. He turns a little bit faster than I do. Uh, missiles. More bombs. Here we go. There we go. A couple of swamp uh, sw swarm lasers and a couple of homing rockets. I'm good to go. Alright, three of them right here. Fourth one on the other side of the battleship and I'm getting the hell blown out of me. Not good. He's sparking again. These guys are doing a lot of damage. Yikes. Oh crap. 
Not good. Health. Right there. Come on. Nice. Got it while doing a barrel roll. Peppy would be so proud. Where the hell are they? They seem to always be on my tail no matter where the hell I go. Oh, here's a couple. Four of them, in fact. Oh, no, I got him. This one's going down. Oh, lined up perfectly. That's one. And that should make... Oh, crap. Oh, apparently they can go down a lot better than I can. I can't go, like, straight down and do a loop that way. Well, it seems like they can, so I guess they do kind of hinder you that way. It's not like in Star Wars Battlefront 2, where you can pretty much turn the ship upside down and everything. No, the ship is always, like, right way up. If not, it pretty much always tries to get itself right way up. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, more health. Nice. Alright, where are they? At least they're always, like, right behind me. I guess I'm not really in the best position during all of these dogfights. Oh, now I am, though. He's gonna get a couple lasers up his ass. Nice. Alright, another one. There goes my comp dish. I just fixed that bloody thing. Oh, does that mean we're not gonna be hearing any more of his witty banter? Wait, if his comm dish was blown up, how was he telling me that his comm dish was blown up? Doesn't make sense, Cutter. How can you communicate without a comm dish? Strange. Not complaining, though, because Cutter's banner is pretty amusing from time to time. Where the hell are those missiles going? Not where I fired them, that's for sure. Come on. Come on, I hit him with eight missiles. How is he still flying? Come on. Oh, there we go. Only a little bit of damage. Uh, crap. Still two more right behind me, and that red thing on the map. Is that another one, or is that just... No, that's the battleship. Alright, come at me. Versatility, that's what it's all about. Come on, have a couple missiles. Why the hell am I not using the homing rockets? The one-hit kill things. That would have... And oh, jeez. Okay, mid-air collision, no problem. Uh, I don't think I want to fly through that stuff. I don't know if it destroys you or not, but I would rather not find out. Especially because I don't think... Have I died in this LP? Yeah, actually, I think I did. I think I got blown up by some sort of rocket launcher guy in the first episode. Anyway, another ship down. Only one more to go. Lost another power cell. Emmett Hannibal needs you to hurry. Keep holding tight, Cutter. Or, I don't know, move your ship out of the damn way. There's really no reason for that thing to be here. And, uh, okay, maybe it needs to drop in beam turrets to take care of that thing, but... Oh, we're done. There's one last panel. You'll have to fight your way to the other side and cut through it. Oh, that's not gonna be much of a problem. I'm in a hawk to begin with. Uh, right here. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Um, What am I gonna have to fight through? There's like no enemy presence down there. I'm not seeing anything. I think. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing down there. What the hell are you talking about, Cutter? Alright, take the leap. Can I make it? Sweet. Alright, Cutter, start prepping the beam turrets, because I'm going to need a couple. Let's see, one. And another one. Eh, and three for good measure. Alright, bring it on. Hunker down. A pod storm is heading your way. And, coming from the ship, scabs with vulture packs. Pleasure Cutter, I am working on that. First take these guys out so they don't blow up my turrets. Alright. There's really there's no way for them to win this. I mean, they need to take out the turrets to prevent the ship from being destroyed, but I'm there to prevent them. And while they're trying to stop me from killing them, the turrets are killing uh killing the ship. So yeah, it's a pretty much a lose lose situation for them. Alright. Time to go get another torpedo, line that thing up, blow that shield generator to kingdom come. 
Oh crap, don't fly through the beam turret beam, that is not good. I don't think I took any damage from that, but it's probably not advisable to do that a lot. Alright, line it up properly again. Uh, all the way from... Oh jeez. Did not see that one coming, that rock came out of nowhere. Uh, let's see, can I... I wonder how far away you can fly from this. The maps are pretty big, it's a shame they're mostly empty. I wonder how multiplayer maps are. Alright, line it up, and torpedo away. Center, and we can blow this heap of scrap across the outer spur. You pull that trigger, you're killing your own kind, Emmett. Get off my frequency. What does he mean, killing his own kind? Does he mean black people? Because Emmett and Logan are the only black people I've seen in the entire game. Or, he, well, he probably just means the scabs, but Emmett is only half scab, so... Yeah, that, that doesn't really... Wait, why is it not blowing up? Did I... How did I miss a target that big? That is... That seems impossible. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. Well, I'll give it another go. Flip in midair. And... Take aim. I mean, come on, look at that. It's huge down the center. How this is White Sands. Damn straight it is. And for Jonas and an annoying sheriff guy. Eh, given the circumstance to given the circumstances I'll take it. I mean could be a whole lot worse, at least he's still alive. Wonder where the hell Cutter is though. If he made it out of that explosion. But I guess we're not quite done yet. Ship's blown up, but I guess Logan is still around. Or maybe he was never on the ship to begin with. Maybe he was radioing from somewhere else. It's also a possibility. Cutter, read me. Come in. I just took a long slide across Sever, but I'm still in one piece. And you? Cutter, you there? Ugh. It doesn't look good for him. Alright, search for Logan. Uh, how about search for Cutter? I don't know, certain, uh, finding your friend in a situation like that seems a little more important than finding your evil twin brother. Why do I keep... He's not Emmett's twin, I think. Cutter, if you get this, heading down to where I saw the rift drive hit. It's where Logan will be. Guess he assumes Logan is the more important priority right now. Kill Logan first, look for Cutter later, if he's still alive, that is. Now, what are we looking at here? The wreckage of the ship? Cockroaches survived. Go figure. Well, cockroaches can survive a nuke, so I'm guessing scabs can survive the fla their flagship blowing up. If these guys were even on that ship to begin with. Maybe they were just hiding down here. Ever stop to think about that, Emmett? Anyway, die, you sons of bitches. Uh, one more? Oh, no, two more. I've got plenty of gun for you two. Kinda wish the cover system in this game was perhaps a little bit better. It doesn't really have one of those. Come on, Logan! Are you gonna let them die for you? Come out! I'm always closer than you think, little brother. Yep, he's definitely watching me. I wonder from where. Anyway, weapons over here, or just ammo for the weapons I already have. Let's see, I have the machine gun, pistol, shotgun I picked up somewhere. Probably a decent amount. You in here, Logan? Hiding behind these scabs? After all these years, Emmett, why come back? For a job? Yeah, for a job. But you had to make it personal. Well, admittedly, I'm pretty sure Logan was harassing the people of White Sands long before Emmett showed up. So, I'm guessing it's just circumstance that they ended up meeting again under these circumstances. Wait, I don't think that line I just said made sense in entirety. Whatever, moving on. Still heard nothing from Cutter. That's really not good. 
you think if he was alive, he'd at least be trying to make contact. So, was Cutter dead? Killed off so unceremoniously? Sure as hell hope not. He's like the only... The most likable side character there was. Then again... I clocked your machine on your back. It can't save you now. If it holds out long enough to kill you, that's all I need. Oh, I'm sensing maybe a heroic sacrifice coming up. Because Emmett sure as hell didn't make it seem as if the thing's gonna hold out either. He says, it, it's okay if it doesn't, as long as it holds out long enough so that I can kill you. So probably Emmett's gonna kill Logan and then the thing's gonna give out and he Emmett's gonna die as well. Or something. Sure as hell hope that doesn't happen. Emmett's too much of a... Oh, jeez. Better... Ah, screw it, I'll jump. Forgot that Emmett takes barely any fall damage. There should be a weapon over here, according to the map, but I am not seeing it. There's nothing up there either. What do we have here? Uh, proximity charges? Alright then. I'll kill every last scab to get to you, Logan! You're not getting off this rock alive! You hear me? It's got no Don't flatter yourself, Scab! I ain't nothing like you! Jeez, Emmett's really losing his cool. Throughout the entire game, he was like kind of a cocky one-liner kind of guy. Now he's just an angry black man. Like uh, like Samuel L. Jackson is in most of his movies. Anyway, a couple Apex Warriors. And also I found a sniper rifle somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where the hell I did. Cutter, I secured the rift core. What's left of it? Come on, where are you? He's a dead man, and you won't be far behind him. You don't have to talk me into a fight. That's what I came for. Alright, final boss time. Though he doesn't look all that different from the standard enemies. That's kind of a shame. Oh well. Uh, that's it. Could have ended you days ago. Know why you've gotten this far. The same reason you burned down White Sands. You're a coward. I was giving you another chance. You could have put away those gadgets. Given in. Become a scab! Huh. There's better ways to die. Okay, so that green stun effect is just so Logan can do an evil monologue. Okay, I'm cool with that. Ah, here we go again. Tell me, how does it feel? Your humans can't stand to look at you. What are you now? A mutt? Just stay with me, little brother. My brother would have kept fighting! No. Oh, I think I got him. Shame, the dialogue got cut off by that. Oh well, so much, Logan. Guess now we're gonna get an emotional cutscene or something. Yep, here we go. Just watch it. Gonna watch me die slow. I'll make it quick. scenic route. It was quite lovely, really. I rode a shockwave right into a quaint little asteroid field. Should have been there. Maybe next time. So I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna need everything Annabelle can throw at it. You got it, mate. Yes, Cutter's still alive. Also, this is one hell of a final boss. The energy levels are off the charts. I can tell you this. Looks like you just pissed off the mother of all scabs. So I kind of wonder what this thing is. Is Logan controlling it? Is it just Logan mutated by the energy again, or is Logan dead already? And is this some completely other being? My comp controls are still on the fix. 
Dammit. Lost half our repeaters at that blast. I'll try this. Reroute the starboard power. Son of a... That wasn't a happy sound. Keep it together, Cutter. We didn't come this far to fail now. No, we sure as hell did not. But the fight's kind of underwhelming so far. I mean, it's barely doing anything. Oh, did we get it? Got a rig with that thing's name on it. Give me a mark. Coming up, let's put this thing six feet under once and for all. All right, rift thing is on. Well, so much for that, I guess. Aha! The rig is working. It's sapping that ugly thing dry. You see it, this? There goes my theory on scab reproduction. <laughs> Wait, why the hell do you have a theory on how those things reproduce? Why do you think about those things? The hell, Emmett? Did not see that coming. Anyway, they're swarming the rig. I guess the thing isn't quite dead yet. It's just trapped. And now it's summoning those things to break the rig so it can get out again. Nope, get off. I kind of wonder how they're going to break it just by slapping it, though. Don't think that's really going to work out for them that well. Well, ooh, ooh, got that one with the knife. Awesome backhand right there. Also out of ammo, well, that's not good. <clears throat> but I have plenty of energy. Might as well plop down a couple auto turrets. When in doubt, use more gun. Also, the revolver. Ah, I love this gun. So good. Alright. Jeez, there's sure as hell is a lot of them. Knife to the chest. They still die as easily as the other ones, though. Even though they are apparently supposed to be... Just zombies. Reanimated dead scabs. Pew. Ooh, nice. And one shot, one kill. And in non-crazy gear man terms. It's mad as all get out. Oh well, let's take to the skies and fight this thing. I must say, the boss fight is definitely making use of all the game's elements pretty well. First land combat, now air combat. Ah, this lightning is doing a number to my power grid. Carter, you holding it together up there? This blasted storm is kicking Annabelle around in a bad way. We need to clean this up quick and get out of here. Yeah, it's bad. But I didn't come all this way to quit now. I'm seeing this out to the end. However this is. Let's just hope it doesn't end with us getting killed. Anyway, heave some missiles, you big, ugly piece of crap. So, it just shoots out asteroids and hopes to hit me with them. Which, it, oh sweet, even the beam turrets are helping out. Awesome. Alright, have some more missiles, plenty where those came from. I must say, it's not really trying to fight back all that much. If that's its, oh shit. Okay, apparently it can also launch some sort of homing asteroids. Those might be a problem. But if that's its only attack, then... Kinda underwhelming. Especially because it's not really... Like, with the Hawks, they were fast and evasive. I usually had to, f like, fly all over the place to try and track him. Oh, shit. Okay, he re definitely packs a punch. Health. Uh, right there. Oh, no, that's orange. That's red. Alright, good to go. Now where the hell is that thing? Oh, oh no, that's homing in on the rocks. I don't really want to home in on those because... Oh, nice. Back under the ground with you. Oh, time to trap it again. Yep, Cutter, Mark is coming. Keep your hat on. Alright, go touch down, rift extractor, there we go. See if that's going to do the trick. Well... The rig's on, is it? Mm-hmm. Ah, crap. Okay, I guess we're still not quite done. Fine, I'll kill a couple more rounds of those guys. The auto turrets are still there. And the hell, they're even coming from the right directions now. Especially now that I have a hawk, I can also clear them out a lot easier. Nice. Uh, that guy slipped through, though. Not gonna let that happen. Couple more coming through. Stomp. And another. And how about another one? Just love squashing these guys under the heel of my jet mecha thing. Jeez, I don't even need to use the guns at this rate. 
Though I guess I can't pick them off before they get within stomping range. Maybe I'll put an auto turret right here. Kinda cover that area. Alright. Got everything set up. They are not coming through here. I'm not sure why the hell they don't, I don't know, burst out of the ground a little bit closer to the rig. But I'm not complaining. This is a lot easier for clearing those bastards out. We got guns pointed at every direction. Hawk to back them up. Yeah, they're not gonna get... Oh, shit. Unless that thing bakes free by itself, of course. Is it gonna fly away again? Nope, it's gonna sit right there. Alright, more land combat. The beam turrets are still there, I think. Yep. Alright. How did we end up in this mess again? I don't know about you, but I'm having a splendid time. Destroying my ship, watching a hard time land in the ground, really. Let's do this again next year. Oh, Cutter, you're so charming. And away it seems to have definitely stepped up its offense right now. Uh, it didn't really have any sort of attack in the first phase, but now it does this weird ground ripping thing. Which I'm guessing you do not want to get hit by. Especially considering I used to have three turrets here and now there's only one, so it's breaking them almost as fast as I can build them. However, that attack does take ages for it to charge up, so it's still not very much of a threat. And apparently that is its only attack. Oh shit. It does rip through the turrets in a single shot, though. That might be a problem. Oh crap, not good. Don't want to be here. Ooh, that one was way too close. Oh, there we... Yep, I think it's done. Oh, and that beam turret is probably unnecessary. Alright, slap another rig on. Guessing this is the final one. Because you know, all good things come in threes. And because there's a cutscene here, it probably is. Yup, no more breaking, we're done. Bloody good show, mate. It's a fine day to be a Riff Salvager, wouldn't you say? So now that that's all wrapped up, how's about we get the hell out of here? I hear you, buddy. Come pick me up. If the ship's still in flying condition, that is. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Just as before, I left Sevo without Logan. But this time... He's finally at rest. All this, it started with a spark. A flash of blue gold. It still burns across this land. That'll never change. And as for the people out here, the rift energy will always be with us. It's our fortune. And our curse. It's the reason we bleed. It makes us who we are. In the end, it doesn't run through just one of us. It connects us all. And that's a wrap on Starhawk. I must say, the, the ending cutscene I found a little underwhelming, though. I mean, where the hell was Emmett during the whole thing? We saw Cutter sitting behind his computer, we saw... Uh... The woman, what's her name? Rebuilding the village. But where the hell was Emmett? So, did he end up getting the girl or not? I'm guessing not, because he was nowhere to be found in the ending. Quite strange. But still, overall, I'd say the story was pretty damn good. Especially because the focus of this game is really on the multiplayer. That's why the story is pretty short. It's pretty much, uh... I think it's been said in, in a whole bunch of reviews that the story of this game is basically just an extended tutorial. So you can get to into the multiplayer and actually know what to do. So it's kind of like, uh... Probably like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something, where the single player campaign is just there. However, in this game, unlike in Call of Duty or Battlefield, the game, the story is actually good. The characters are actually likable. Like, it's not just a throwaway campaign. 
it's still a great campaign in its own right. And I haven't played the multiplayer because I bought this game used, so it's one of the, those games that have an, that has an online pass that you need to pay like 10 bucks for. And I pretty much don't ever play multiplayer games anyway because I just don't have the time for it. But for this game, I would probably want to make an exception. Hell, maybe I'll do a community live stream of it with multiplayer with everyone else kicking in or something. So everyone needs to go out and buy Starhawk right now because the game is awesome. I'm pretty sure you all have seen that over the course of the past 11 videos. Just one hell of a game. And I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that this was the studio's first game as well. Not entirely 100% sure on that, but if it is, then that is sure as hell amazing. However, it's not all sunshine and happiness about this game because it did not sell worth crap that is just such a shame in an industry where there's call of duty clones up the wazoo and they all sell pretty damn well and some uh, once upon a time something unique like this because there is clearly no game like this something unique comes along and it just doesn't sell not because it's bad but just because it's different and also because Sony didn't do a damn thing to advertise this game. Which is really... I'm not sure what the hell was up with that, but Sony had that problem a lot in 2012 when this game was released. Because Twisted Metal and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, two more Sony exclusives that they released in 2012, did also receive next to no advertising whatsoever. And as a result, did not sell that well either. Let's see, Emmett Graves, Carrie Payton... Okay, Carrie Payton. I I can't think of any other roles Carrie Payton has done. Although I do think he was uh, he was Drebin in Metal Gear Solid 4, the uh, the arms dealer guy, who actually does not really sound all that much like Emmett. So I guess that guy has pretty good range on his voice. But yeah, it's really a damn shame that this game was so underappreciated. Because I've read like a whole bunch of reviews and on, I think IGN, I think they gave the game like a 9.5 and, and they said that the multiplayer for Starhawk is the best multiplayer on the PS3. So then why the hell did the people not buy it and play it? Because it's not like all the games that everyone else is playing. It's not like Call of Duty, it's not like Battlefield, it's not like Madden or all the crappy sports games. It's just a damn shame. And of course, because the game didn't sell, for some reason, Sony saw fit to shut down the studio. So yeah, chances of a sequel are pretty damn slim. Even though I think a game like this would be pretty damn impressive on the PS4 with all the power that that system has. I mean, that'd just be utterly amazing. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that we're not ever going to see Emmett Graves and company again. Which makes me very, very sad on the inside. Because I thought Emmett was a pretty cool character. Uh, sure, kind of just the standard, kind of badass, one-liner kind of guy, but... I thought the story had a pretty damn interesting dynamic with... Him fighting his evil brother that deep down he still loved and didn't actually want to kill. I guess. But yeah, the story was... Just for a throwaway tutorial campaign, the story was pretty damn good. I mean, hell, I'd say this game is definitely worth a purchase for the single player alone, and that I haven't even touched the multiplayer yet. So yeah, I'm gonna say it again, if you have a PS3, buy this game. I'm pretty sure it's not all that expensive anymore, maybe 20-30 bucks at most. So there's really no reason for you not to buy this. Gameplay is amazing. One of the best third-person shooters I've ever played. The dogfighting in space is amazingly fun and amazingly well executed. The uh, the soundtrack, oh god, the soundtrack, don't even get me started on that. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing as well. I think I have like seven or eight of the songs from the Starhawk soundtrack on my cell phone. That I listen to on a fairly regular basis. So the soundtrack is amazing to you. You can also buy that separately if you feel like it. Though, like most people, I just rip the soundtrack off of YouTube because that's what everyone does. 
don't really see the point in offering a soundtrack for sale because people will always get those free somehow. Also, longest credits ever. But yeah, Starhawk is done, sadly. However, Emmett Graves, we haven't seen the last of him because there is still one game that he's also in that I will also eventually feature on this channel, maybe next year somewhere. So yeah, Emmett Graves will be back. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, I did already upload a trailer for the next LP yesterday, which is going to be Dead Rising 2 off the record. Don't know when that's gonna start just yet though. Uh, probably after I close, after I end Bent and Omniverse 2, because that's really not all that far away. I just narrated episode 6 of that before I narrated this, so only four more episodes remaining for Bent and Omniverse. I'd give it a week before that'll be done. And then it's back to Pokemon Platinum Infamous 2, which I haven't uploaded anything of in ages for some reason. Oh look, Dutch people worked on this game. Yeah, Dutch power. Two people. Not much though. So yeah, Infamous 2, Pokemon Platinum, and then Dead Rising 2, off the record, will be what'll be on this channel for the foreseeable future. At least for the remainder of 2013. So that brings us to 2014. I'm not exactly sure what the hell I'm gonna do in that. Simply because there's way too many games to choose from. So, uh, just wait for it, probably. Wait, Tilly Anderson, uh, did they even give her last name during the campaign? I don't think so. Pretty sure they would just refer to as Tilly. Which is also kind of a weird name, I guess. First Party Quality Assurance. Those guys did a great job. They really assured that this game was quality. Probably one of the best games I've ever played. Which, if you've seen my, uh... I think I pushed that out a couple... Like, maybe a week ago or something, a list of, like, review scores that I'd give all the games I played. Starhawk, I think, was in the top five. And I th think the only games I gave a slightly better rating to were Uncharted 2, God of War 3, and Infamous 2. And then they were only better by, like, two-tenths of a point, or something. So, a great game. Underappreciated. Which is a damn shame, go buy it. I can't say it enough, buy this game. I'm not sure if the multiplayer is still active or not. But I'm sure that it is, because there's really nothing else like this. Like with Call of Duty or something. I guess there's always a similar game that you could play. With Starhawk, there is no similar game. There's only one game like it, and that is Starhawk. Well, maybe Warhawk, which is, I think, one of the PS3's launch titles, but I'm pretty, I'm not sure if that's still played. I don't even own that game, because it's multiplayer only, which I thought was kind of lame. I mean, there's always people who don't like playing multiplayer. You should have at least a, a sizable single-player portion for those people. Which, I'm guessing, is why Call of Duty keeps bothering to put in a single-player campaign, because really the Call of Duty single-player campaigns are shit. But there's always people out there who want those things, so I guess that's why they put it in there. So, yeah. <sighs> Emmett, take care, my friend. We will see you again on this channel in the foreseeable future. Will be probably a couple months, though. But yeah, we haven't seen the last of Emmett Graves. However, we probably have seen the last of the Starhawk games, because I doubt there's going to be a sequel. Which makes me very, very sad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.